Good morning everybody and welcome to episode 36 of Fortress Craft Evolved Hard Mode, 64-bit mode in survival. And as you can see we've got our very first basic um, what is it, mass storage device going. Uh, I did ask the devs the other day about doing are the robotic arms going to get upgraded and they are they are going to be changed from selecting an item by pressing E to how we um, select an item from your output you'll be able to just go to your hot bar and say right this is what I want out and um, this is um, how it will go okay so that's the idea behind the new robotic arm so we're going to have to wait until version 1.5 for that to um, start to happen but as you can see our um, mass storage is not it's still not quite keeping up but we are getting to a point now where we can actually start having bits and pieces coming in and uh, we can start having more items um, come in so we've got three input yeah and we've got three output so we're going to make another output today and what we're going to do is this is going to be to our secondary smelter so what we're going to need is if I've got them is I'm going to need some um, bits some conveyor belts which look like I've got those and we've got to build another uh, output port now this will give us three in four out so over time you will have more outputs than you have inputs this is why you don't need such a big one here now we were going to make it smaller but for the time being I'm going to leave it as it is I don't want to disturb it okay so let's go and see what we need for the output port and is it on here my storage output port so we need some iron gears and servo motors so let's go and make the servo motors first because we only need four of those Four. We need some tin plates. We've only got four of those. And we need some iron gears. Okay, so we only need a few more bits of tin to um, get get this going. So hopefully that will be the stuff that I need. Back one of those and mass storage output. Okay. Now this may or may not work. Um, we will have to wait and see, see how it goes. Now again, what it is, you have to. Okay, that's a diamond. So I didn't know we could place those. So okay we'll have a look at those later on and uh, we'll make something nice out of those i believe so mass storage okay now what we're going to do on these is we need one of these okay i'm going to take that one okay and we have to make sure it's connected to the 
output okay because it's not connected to the output it will not work and what we're going to do on this is we're going to have copper ore come out of this one okay so we press E and that will start working on copper so that now means that we have two two iron and two copper okay so what we need to do and I still wish this would work but it doesn't is we will make another one so you can see that we're gonna have three here okay this is not in the right place okay this is where the smelt is going to be it's going to be here okay and like I said this is the most important piece which is here because we can if we wanted to put robotic arms in but we're not going to so we, we, this is going to be more compact than the other one because I left a gap of three but I'm just going to leave a gap of one at the moment I may not I may keep it there I may move it back I don't know we'll see how it goes the reason I've got the gap is because you only ever need three coming out at once I think that more is more than enough okay um, and it gives us a little bit of room to maneuver so that now should have four output okay and it should keep up okay with with uh, the input and output now as you can see we've got 100 copper ore in here we've got 100 we've got 99 in here the only problem you see is that it, it does slow down and this is um, a big problem until we start getting the mass storage sorted out and up running and going so the next bit that we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing another hopper if we have the materials okay so we have we, we need tin so we're just gonna have to let it run i'm just gonna have to carry on with the um, tin see how much we've got okay so tin goes there all right now i didn't notice that we could actually replant these crystals so we're gonna just we, we we might just make just for the hell of it just just here right just so you can see what they are um we're gonna make because they're, they're actually light they actually light up so this would actually be a good thing for possibly um, crystals growth well I don't know if they grow or not but you can see God, they give off an awful blinding light so let's see what the other ones are like I don't know if I've got them on the hot bar no but I'll tell you what I might do with them instead of using them for uh, what's the name let's, let's have a look at what the others are I think the blues are too, too um, drastic god flipping out look at the colour on that you know what we're going to go down to our main cave right and what i'm going to do is we, we're going to make um, we're going to make the crystal cave down there so let's go down to our main cave a nice big main cave obviously as you know collecting all bits and pieces um, for coal to make lights and that it's 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 kind of expensive but to be honest if if these are gonna 
crystals are going to light up then we are going to use them we don't know how well that they'll light we don't know if they'll grow that was a, a monster by the way we still we still not got yet active monsters which I'm kind of looking forward to forward to because uh, it will make I think the game a lot lot more interesting so See, this at the moment is our cave. All right. So, as it's kind of dark over here, and these really light up. You know, I mean, wow! Look at that. I mean, it really, really does make make it spectacular. You know, so. We're gonna let's see where 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 are we? Don't know. There's some more over here. So what we'll go, what we're going to do is we'll say right. Okay, this is this is the lift shaft here. Let's let's dig this out. to F1 a minute put this corner back I think that lines up with the arrows there yeah so what we'll do is we'll get the yellow ones and we will put crystal there oh that's what we need to make crystal there because it's so powerful this light yeah I do kind of like that actually we're gonna put the crystal there I mean look that that gives us a really really nice glow so we'll just go um, over here so let's just mark this here and get a few and, and just we'll we'll put we'll go to our crystals just so you can see the difference of them um, I haven't done a topaz one done a topaz one lens I haven't really done that so we'll put the blue one there now the blue one in the cave I think is is nice it, it's kind of a nice glow to it so we've got the blue ones you can see that it is really nice color yeah and we'll stick I don't know we'll, we'll, we'll I don't know where we're gonna we'll, this is something up here that's up to the gold level okay so we've got up there so if we're gonna do a staircase up there Let's go up to the top here. Whoops, a daisy. Okay, so you can see we'll make a staircase up here. For now, we'll put the purple one here. Now that's that's nice. That's the best one that you want. So you can actually have a crystal cave. See look, yellow, blue, and that purple's really really nice. I do like that. 
um, so yeah you know so we're gonna want to want to um, fill this in do is we've got we've got this here I think this is in the wrong place but I think we do that so it stays in mid air this yellow one really does take um, an awful lot of uh, power but we can use it we, we, you know we'll use them so we'll take those off for the minute and what we're going to do is, I think we're going to go up this way. So let's put that there and that there. Take that off. And we will find the crystal. Put the, put the, we want the yellow one because, yeah, we'll have a yellow one again, okay, and then we're going to go up here, just like so, and we're going to build the staircase. is access to um, but obviously this gives us time for the multi stuff to get sorted out and we've got gold and everything to uh, collect and so should have started further back. So 
what we'll do is now we'll make um, a little platform here. Why we did the stairs for, I don't know. I think we're just trying to get it to the top, so that's. So let's go uh, to the inventory. Uh, I think it's what F4, F5, 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so we got the blue ones. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll put the blue crystal down, put that one down. Take the yellow one, put a blue one back there, and this will be upstairs to our crystal room. Okay. I think I think that would be, be nice to have a crystal room. Uh, just to see what what would happen. Whoa, look at that, you can barely barely see that that yellow look that yellow one really really does um, take the biscuit you know it is whoa so we're gonna put the yellow one ah, back a bit you can see the, the glow from these crystals is quite nice, you know, I don't know what that one is, that's a blue one, look. So I'll leave that, I'll leave that, let's see how far we can go. quite nice, it looks quite nice, so we'll leave that one there, leave the blue one there, now is there anything over this way, yeah, okay, so this is to the, to the other cavern, but I want to light this cavern up, so, yeah, so they can go any way they like, they can even go on the ceiling, I'm not sure if they will stick on the ceiling, but, Let's see, let's put the yellow one there. Yeah, kind of nice. So you can have them a ceiling light and stuff like that. And all you got to do to take them down is just shoot them and just watch where they fall. So you can obviously go and pick them up. That's if you can remember where they fell, of course. Did we get it? No. So that's a little bit of an oops. There we go, we've got it now. Okay, so just be careful when you uh, do any of the crystal stuff, okay? And we'll break our legs. Oh, we did break our legs. So yeah, we can use them as ceiling lights, okay? Or we can, we can just put them on the side of the wall. 
so you know I think I'll, I'll, we'll start off in this cave and we'll see where we go this this one's quite high got some over here and I'm gonna put one there because that lights up some ore Okay, so as I find crystals, I think I'm going to um, put them in this in this cave because I, I like this cave, and we'll probably just have a nice we'll we'll cover it in crystals. Okay, so we're gonna go we've got to go into this other cave in here because we've got to go and check our. See how it's doing. Oh, titanium, sorry. Now, I will say that over the next few weeks, due to the fact that my girlfriend is coming over from Germany, um, I won't be on as much uh, because obviously I'm going to spend time with, with her. Again, as we find crystals, we'll light up these um, caverns. Um, is that a crystal? Is that a light? I think that's a light. Okay, so this is the this is how we're going for uh, the look at the moment. We're just doing nice stages. We've got to finish off just making things looking nice. Yeah, and um, yeah, you know we've got steps down here this is a, a big cave full of ores you can see how big it is and all, all the nice ores and stuff like that and we're making a nice manufacturing plant down here when we've got the resources so yeah let's just get this covered in like that. so we are getting we are getting there um, as you can see as you come through this this crystal cave now is coming a lot lot better and a lot more efficient and obviously we've got to um, mine up in here as well because this is going to be a lift back but <coughs> for the time being we're going we're to go up and I'm not sure which way we're going to face that way okay Right, so we're in now the um, stone area. Okay, so we're going to be going out here. Now this is where one of those crystals will be obviously be nice, but we're going to put in a torch. Okay. And we do have to take one ceiling block off <laughs> and 
this is where we are going to put our um, next lift. Right, I need to go down. Crack. That's a fantastic sound. Come on, give me, give me some bits and pieces. Didn't realise I was that low. But to be honest, I'm not worried about it because right here we have our. Supply. Okay, so what we need to do now is, like I said, we need to get our lift up here. Okay, and <coughs> that will take us up through there, and we'll we'll make I don't know some stairs to go all the way around it. We'll work out how many stairs of flights to go up and all that sort of stuff and we'll make it like a really really nice chamber in here okay because I think I might turn like I said this into the crystal cave okay so let's go and collect our ore see what we've got going okay so we've got nickel ore here and we've got gold ore here ok gold is going to be useful for us in the future because we are going to be building um, a nice new furnace Lithium was a little bit low at the time, but we're going to have a look and see what it is at, it is now. Lithium's coming up, I think. No, that's not lithium. Not yet, anyway. Okay, lithium's coming up here, so we'll get uh, the lithium. Obviously you can see I've got a conveyor belt started for lithium. Yeah, okay. So there we go. And here we go up and up. And we don't have to worry about iron because that's all being done. See how we're doing here. This has got 20 ore. Okay, so this is full again. Okay, so you can see at this point in in, in the game, it's still not um, big enough for what we want because. This is actually a bit too slow for us. Now, when I did this last time, I had um, what was it? And I think I might do it again, just because it it might be a bit better. To be honest, is I had the all here, so. Central line. I get rid of that? No, I didn't get rid of that. 
I think I'm going to go back to how I was before because I, I just don't think it's, it's, it's going to be good enough. We've got the difficulty of having crystal on this main line. This is what I'm doing afterwards. Okay. Oh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We can always change it. So we've got another uh, storage track in there, so we're going to craft that. Take that one off. And we're going to put the hopper there. Okay, so that's now 300 units in there. I'm going to change this one from copper to iron. So I've now got three iron and one copper because copper, to be honest, is not um, really necessary at this point in time. We just don't use enough of it. So let's put in some more. As you can see, it's still going into one furnace at the moment. Okay. And here comes hypothermia, but it's not going to kill me because I've got all of this. See this mass storage design, really you've got to get um, it, it going good. And to be honest, I don't think it's going to work this way. Because we, you can see we're filling up too quickly and we're, we're not getting it, we're not getting it enough. So yeah, I, I'm going to, I'm going to change the design. I'm going to take this back. Okay, we're going to take this back off and we are going to redesign this okay because we can't afford to
habit slow. Okay, we, we just cannot afford that. So our furnace is going to go back here. Okay, so we've got to get it sorted out. So fur oh, come on, where did my furnace drop? Okay, so we're going to put the furnace back here because it was working here quite um, efficiently. Okay, so we're going to get our hoppers. So this is um, add only. Now that will be going and doing a lot more and what we'll do now is we will have um, the setup as I would have it normally before. Because it won't take so long. So that will put everything else in. This should still be taking stuff out. I don't know why it's not. It's mainly because it's got nowhere to go. So we can get rid of this, this. So there's the iron 
Hi everybody, sorry about that. Uh, had <coughs> real life stuff to do at the front door. Right, okay, so we were trying to sort this out because we haven't got it working quite right. Um, I don't know what's going on. Uh, this should actually just only be add only so I can only put stuff in it and this should be remove only and it's kind of not working so let's take all of this out again okay should, because it should be going out of there you know it should be uh, removing from there so let's see let's see how it does we've got add and we've got remove So it's smelting the iron bar. We are going to get this done. We are going to get it resorted out. Okay, so it's gone out now. And you've gone into the one? No, it, it's gone into the other one. Because it's, it's out only. Right, let's change that one to remove remove only ok we haven't got enough uh, iron we'll put that in there come on get in there ok so that's smelting So that's done now, that, yeah. And it's still, still not doing it. So let's change that to add only. Now you can see that's got one iron bar there. Now that's got zero bars. Oh, and it's gone. Look, it's gone. Okay, so it is now actually working. So that should be zero yeah and we've got some iron there i probably just didn't sit so what we're going to be doing now is with our mass storage block we're going to put one there one there one there one there okay and we're just going to um, just put them down three at a time Okay, so we've got enough there. We'll take one away here. The mass door is going to want to keep it symmetrical. So this is the main line. Okay, so this is going to be our main line here. And this we will put iron, tin. and copper okay we have got one extra okay and then what we do here is we put voila one there one there and we put a hopper hopper Okay, now these remember are smelted bars. This is how I used to have it before. You smell everything in and everything goes out. So we're going to keep it that way. Okay, so we won't be needing uh, that power there. Okay, now we will be needing the um, tin line sorted back out again. So we're going to have to put this back for the time being. So yeah, I do like trying the new modifications and stuff like that, but sometimes it just does not work. Okay. So what we're going to do is because iron is going to be our main one. Okay. 
for the time being. We're going to go back to um, F1, then we're going to go F2. Now on F2, we're going to put the bars that we need. So it's copper, tin, iron, lithium. We haven't got gold yet. Titanium, and we haven't got nickel yet. Okay, so that's what we're going to be having there, right? So if we do it, so this one is going to be copper. So you press E, and you can see it's going for the copper bar. This one is going to be tin, and this one is going to be. Um, iron okay so you can see that's going to go for the iron okay now this is where um, at the moment we're only going to be doing one because we've only got one smelter now at any one time we're only going to be needing one okay this is about the best setup I've, I've got put everything in smelt it put it into the um, mass storage okay so you can see we've got one in at the moment because we've, we've only got uh, one, one smelter so we can actually add more smelters on this if we need to and we can have the input one there and we can have an input there because we can also um, put in more, more lines here okay so that's that sorted out that's resorted out to somewhere where I'm happy with it let's take this one off here okay because I want my storage on this um, this bar uh, sorry I want my storage on F3 okay so we've got that so we put that one down there so that means I only want one, two, three, three, four. So now you can see when we got on it, we've got zero items in here. We've got six copper bars in there, zero tin, and we've got six iron bars there. Now, whenever these stop, yeah, we could just make a bigger mass storage or we can make a smaller mass storage now what I did I made a bigger mass storage but we'll 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 see how this goes I might just be tempted to make a tower and make different levels and stuff like that or have it go into the um, what shall we call it the manufacturing Okay, now the manufacturing plan that's going to be a bit difficult to do, but we'll, we'll work on it. We can have six items go into that at any one time. So, um, we are going to look, we, we need to go and get my um, conveyor belts back from the titanium, unfortunately, because we need the tin coming in. So, the titanium is going to be coming in just sorry not titanium lithium isn't going to be coming in just yet <laughs> but it's just one of those things that you know you've got to mess around with things you've got to sort things out because your input when you get going has got to be able to uh, have a lot of stuff coming because if, if you don't have a good input you, you're gonna, as you can see, be emptying stuff all the time. And you, you, you don't want that. You want to be able to go to the top of your base and say, right, I need this or I need this or or I don't need this or anymore. So I don't mind if that runs out. Okay. But iron is one of the biggest that we do not, we do need. So it's in a lot of lot of recipes. So let's get this tin going uh, back again. Did we, did we have tin going? Right, okay, we need to have 
that rotated. There we go. And where is our line? Okay, so that's our tin line going again, okay. I'm going to see if I've got enough to make another hopper because I want that lithium done. No, that Okay. So this, this is how it's going to be, okay. Smelt, smelt, smelt the ore into the bar. Might rearrange it slightly so we can fix um, some robotic arms here for when we have crystal and biomass come up okay so that they will get separated and not go into the um, ore smelter and jam it up and we can have those off into separate little bits there okay because we, we will need to keep those going or we might just go down and mine the um, biomass and the crystal as we need it. we'll see how the recipe goes okay or we can just say right we've got an input we'll put an input here and we'll put an input here into this line and then we'll sort it out at, uh, at the other end okay so there's lots of ways we can, we can get around the biomass and the crystal okay so Yes, we needed an upgrade for the tin, didn't we? Because tin, again, is another one that is relatively acquired straight away. And we do need a lot of the copper, tin and iron. So we're going to go and see how we're doing. Okay. So we've got eight copper bars. Okay, so go back see how we're doing on that. Okay, so we've got the iron, we've got the copper, we're just waiting for the tin and then we'll have the, the enhanced drill pump up. So Oh, it's already on the enhanced drill, so we wanted the magmatic drill, didn't we? Not the enhanced. So how are we doing for the magmatic? Okay, yeah, so again, we, we just need the uh, tin, basically. So well, what I'm going to do is, because we're, we're doing quite well, I believe, So let's see if I can shove 100 units of tin in. No, it's gone to iron. But, uh, just one of those things, isn't it? Just one of them things. Now, the only thing that we've got to uh, worry about now is because we've got this set up here is we can't put in like lithium or nickel or anything like that because we just don't um, have it okay and as you can see as soon as it goes in it goes out which is a much better way than what we were having Go back. I think that's really about it. I mean, there's not much more that um, I wanted to do on this episode. I just wanted to mess around with the um, B 
bits and pieces there. Copper bars we don't need. Tin bars we do need. That's what we wanted. Okay. Um, the, see if we got enough for the magnetic drill yet. No, we haven't. Um, let, let me get some. We got 60 tin ore there. 40 iron ore there. Okay, let's get some tin ore. Let's get some of that in. Let's ship that in. <coughs> now, if you look as it goes out, you can see that the tin or you can see that the bars are they, quite nice, actually, to be honest, the way that they've done them. So we're going to go and check on the power supply because we've decided we're not going to have that power supply there. So get rid of all of this because we don't need it. And it will save us on um, our power as well. Okay, so our power supply is going, coal is still going, um, stuff like that. So that's all nice and well and done. careful about that guys okay Just wait a couple of minutes, okay? Because uh, I do, I do want to get this magmatic drill in. How much tin have we got left? Okay, two thousand six hundred and fifty k. That's going to leave an awful big hole, by the way when that's finished. And here comes the last one. Okay, so we'll cue that. We'll take this out. go down a little bit and we will then go to our manufacturing plant and we'll go to our magmatic drill there we go and 
I'm going to craft that. Okay. And then obviously we will go and put that into our drill head. And there we have our magmatic drill. Okay, so that's now going to give us eight or every minute with efficiency at 10, drill rate is 800% and standard cut then 100%. Okay, so you can see that our tin is going up straight away. So we're going to see how this now copes with it. It should cope with it okay, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. And I'm not going to put another input line in until this starts blocking up. I know we've got them, but I'm not going to put them on. Okay. So, what is the next procedure? I think the next procedure is we're, what we're going to be doing is um, trying to get lithium up here. Now, uh, yeah, it's not going to be too hard. No, see, we've got to put the power power lines in. Let's see what power lines we've got. base at the moment we are doing 81.52k on the pyro no solar no turbine and only PTG count is 9 coal burn 235 so we're averaging 52 or a minute and we're only doing two bars a minute now looking at this let's take that off that's still okay for me at this point in time because we've not got that much more in there but I will want to possibly increase this later on so have a look, see what we got. Forced induction takes up a lot of power, but it makes it more uh, better. Now, advanced machine block. This is for turbines. Okay, or it used to be BFLs. I still don't think that's worth it. I'm not going to do that, I'm afraid. Still grade bars. Now they make the still cutter heads, which gives you 10% more on an all face, okay? how the mass storage goes now yeah this is actually the, the better setup which is your raw ore comes in bars comes out 
okay you put it on the input you put the three outputs and you've got your copper tin and iron sorted out so you can see straight away how much you've got okay and again at the end of the day you could extend these to a little bit further if you want to now you really we really don't need all of this so we can make this a bit more compact but this is when other ore comes in and we can have a look at it I think what is it one two three four five I'm not I'm not compacted down to five and um, so it does we won't do that yet we'll just leave it as it is because as you can see we need one but uh, this is on hard mode if you was on easy mode you might it's still be the same setup but you might need it will be it will be quicker okay but we're using 16 or um, per go so I think it's it's good enough as it is okay so again raw ore in bars bars get stored and output bars at the end so they're sorted out into different modules and then you just go and pick them up as and when you want them okay so I hope you enjoyed this episode it's been interesting for me because I didn't really want to redesign this but basically this is faster than the other one other ones were so this is um, the way I've decided to keep it we will when we get version 1.5 we'll get upgrades so we can put bio uh, biofuel on and all sorts of stuff on at the front so we still use the one main line and um, have fun stay safe and I will see you in the next episode when we revisit I think the macerator and the auto excavator and we will see how that goes so again this is HMK signing off have fun stay safe bye for now